Small groups of people cut down all vegetation after two weeks to let it dry. They burn it all down later so nutrients returns to soil as ashes. Hello, today we will be talking to you about slash and burn agriculture and how it both positively and negatively affects the environment. I will be talking about the negative side of slash and burn agriculture and how it affects the three pillars of sustainability. Slash and burn agriculture is a very iffy process. It has a lot of room for error, so it has to be done correctly. And all of the problems that it can cause, if not done correctly, can create a domino effect. If one goes wrong, all of them are going to go wrong. An example is if the method's used incorrectly. So if they people if the people who are doing this method don't leave enough time in between slashing and burning, then the nutrients doesn't have enough time to soak back in and this can cause deforestation because the forest can't go back. And over time, if slash and burn methods are being used in a particular area, it can create nutrient loss, so they can't really use it that much more once all the nutrients are gone. Another problem is erosion and biodiversity loss and it destroys the habitats for animals living there. So if one of these things go wrong, it just they all interconnect and create one big problem. Slash and burn agriculture, since it's such a big method, agriculture is used so often and so much around mainly South America and Central America. Uh, everyone uses it and at the same time, so it creates a lot of pollution and it totals up to be 1 billion tons of carbon every year. And all of this pollution is just another problem that we don't need. So all of these negative sides that slash and agriculture creates is just giving them too much to a huge mess that we don't want to clean up. Hi, I'm going to be talking about the positive effects of slash and burnt agriculture and the history of it and how it started. Some pros to slash and burn agriculture is that by burning mostly everything, it drives away pests. So when the vegetation and foliage burns, it causes a burst of nutrients for planting. Some think it would be bad to burn all the foliage, but plants that provide food or timber are sometimes not destroyed. After the slash and burn process is used, there are areas left alone after a long time in order for vegetation to grow back but then the process may be repeated again. During the Neolithic age, hunter-gatherers took plants and animals and settled down with them and practiced agriculture, which provided more nutrition than hunting and gathering. This happened in the river valleys of Egypt and Mesopotamia. Due to this increase of food from hunting as human populations increased, agriculture became more important. Some groups could easily plant their seeds in open fields along river valleys, but others had forests blocking their farmland. So humans used slash and burn agriculture to clear more land and make it sustainable for humans and animals. Clearings created by fires were made for many reasons, like to draw game to their land for hunting and to promote certain kinds of food like berries. Slash and burn fields and clearings were usually owned by different families and clans, so once they were done with the land, that they another family would come and use it. After a while, once the soil would come back and like revitalize itself, because after a while, the soil wouldn't be good anymore after so much slashing and burning. Most of the work um, for the slashing was done by hand, like with machetes, axes, and makeshift shovels. That is it. So, how does slash and burn agriculture affect the three pillars of sustainability? Society, economy, and environment. Well, it affects society, which is us, because it aids in the production of food. And more food equals more people, so society is growing, and we are happy because we're getting a lot of food. And it affects the economy because it saves money, so no fertilizers or synthetic products need to be used 
because all of the nutrients are already there um, that soak back into the soil from the ashes. It affects the environment uh, mainly negatively because of the deforestation we talked about and the pollution uh, and because there's such a large margin for error and slash and burn method, uh, these are very common. So it affects all three pillars quite profoundly and that is slash and burn agriculture.